akachuka pala mja kebe njigiriza kachagenda masu no kusisinka na wakwati wako mbe njigiriza rovonyo le kiteso okuita mparlamenti wabewo okuno njirizo kuenja ulo kuungeri mbe njigiriza na dale vyo wanda njini jebiki ndo kuda mwengulu ovonyo lo kubo bubie nyo senyiga korona lero akachuka sinka nyabatandi siwa masomero ago wanda njini mugwanga abega tira mkako guwawe uga national private education institutions association uganda okufuna ndoza zawe kuungeri mbe njigiriza na dale vyo wanda njini jebiki ndo kuda mwengulu elaba sinzi dewano Ndiwa sawa wawewo, ensawe yenja uli ya wukade chukumi chukumi, enewewa, bulisome uli wana njini. Chiyambeko, ama somero gano kude nguru. No kusi ingira dala, mkusa sura mabanja. Nensi mbizo kudukanya ama somero gano, singa gana waga zemu, mwenye nwari uomu wako uguja. We hereby propose that a secured private educational institution recovery fund, PAC, of 100 million be granted per school as stimulus package to enable restarting or jump-starting function operations of sector on health, safety, and infrastructure requirements on SOPs and others. The recovery fund of 100 million per school to be payable in a period of not less than five years, secured by the school at not less than or not more than 5% interest per annum. Bano, abakule mbedua mwasadu chitabida. Basa bi government, singama sumulugana baga zemo, nsimbi ya zaibu zebea kamalizo, zisonyibuwa bazade. Sina chindi, abaiza baga ndo kutule bigezo, ebe chibine chio musamvo. Sini ya yokuna, na yomu kaga, batu sobuta tulabigezo bino. Kubanga bazade, watuogi rabe ya guzaru jo. Government should put in place a bond to commercial banks to take care of all accrued interest on loans during the period of lockdown. That's from March 15, 2020 to December 31st, 2020, second, recovered after the principal has been settled. Government should relieve parents and learners educating and studying in private school payment of the national examination fees. Mr. Chairman, with permission, because this is the gist of the matter, but other issues where we shall seek your indulgence in the future will be the need to legalize tax waiver on private education institutions. Mukusoka, akachuka sinka nyechibine kitaba abasomesa, abasomesa masomeno gobwa nanyini. E kisabi parlamenti, ilagire minisuwe benji giriza, e yamugirizeo kunteka teka, e yen simbi. Eza abasomesa, obumbia mkumi abiri, omkule mbezo guanga zeba suviza, mojula yuwa bili abiri. Mbogera gena ya kumuendo gobwa abasomesa, abasomesa masomeno gobwa nanyini, okote ule guanga liona, Oguli emitwala satu mwetano ngo kusinzira ku bibalo singa buli mutsomesa anafu na ku nsimbi zino wa kufunda emitwala ena kati bano bagamba nti nsimbi bezasiwa mu nsawe eno zongezewe okuva ku bumbi makumi abiri wakiri kisobozese buli mutsomesa okwe ole emitwala makumi atano in adequacy of the 20 billion we appreciate the money but we have tried to give an example here now let's take an example of a district which has just about 20 uh, 2500 teachers 100 million by 2,500 teachers is about 40,000 40, for each teacher. So whereas we appreciate that it is not enough, our prayers are Parliament urges government to increase this fund so as to be able to benefit at least maybe a quarter. There are quite a lot of highlights about these percentages on the plight of teachers. The information the chairperson is giving us here doesn't look like it is backed with any evidence. Seems he, he just thinks that 90% of the teachers relocated to the village. That the delay in advancing whatever money had already been proposed by government is coming from the contradictions you are having.